As part of our Boomtown 2040 series, we're taking a look at how Central Texas is changing with all the growth that we're, of course, seeing. And even with the city constantly evolving, a local photographer won't let people forget the old Austin. He says he spent years capturing the soul of East Austin before it's gone for good. And he told KVU's Mari Salazar he's determined to make those pictures a part of history, huh, Mari? Patrick, John Langmore started his East Austin project in 2006. He went out to neighborhoods, met families, and practically became a part of the community. If I take your picture. John Langmore says it's not his story. Nice meeting you, James. Yeah, it looks good, man. It's theirs. <laughs> so he dedicated six years of his life telling it. When I started this project in 2006, we all knew that East Austin was changing. It was already had started was, and was far along by 2006. I started to realize that you know, this is one of the most unique parts of Austin and that it's changing and that someone should document this, you know, amazing community. With those pictures, Langmore created his book, Fault Lines, Portraits of East Austin, because as Austin changes, neighborhoods develop and Langmore doesn't want people to forget. You know, it's going to be a tragic loss for the city of Austin when old East Austin, these Mexican, the Mexican-American and the African-American communities, when they're gone, it's going to be a huge loss. His book talks about how East Austin businesses and families are being pushed out while new restaurants, bars and newer residents are pushed in. Something East Austin business owner John Colunga knows a lot about. The East Side is it's still here, but it's like totally changed with the community of our, our Mexican heritage. Colunga says they keep their heads up. We accept it because of, I mean, we're just looking around and we're still all together. And for Langmore, it's not about what's changing, but about what Austin's losing. I would say the East Austin project project is definitely one of my most meaningful projects because I love Austin. <clears throat> you know, it's my hometown. Laymore is working with the Austin History Center to display his pictures. Marty Salazar, KV News.